Merry Christmas! Thank you so much for being part of GBFM for today. Hi everyone, and I'm your shoe making made easy to talk. Odorole Mojibala. In my previous tutorial, I taught us how to actually cut the patchwork on this Emmy design, and so many people requested that I show them how to actually create the Emmy design, which I have done. So go to my Facebook, go to my Instagram, and go and check it out because I've posted them all there. So, or you get to check the in shot as well, you will also see it on my YouTube in shot. So, today we're going to be looking at how I'm going to be using my whole jean material to actually wrap my insole for this particular patchwork Emmy's design. Design. I'm sure you want to see this. If you're just watching me for the first time, all we do here is make shoe making easy and simple for you by igniting your passion for creativity. Come on, join me. Sit back. Let us go into this right now. So, Today we're going to be starting with the wrapping of our insole. Of course, I'm using an hood sole. So if you have an old sole at home, you can definitely tidy it up using your sandpaper to, you know, remove any form of um, glue or adhesive that you have on it. And this is my EVA foam. It's 4 millimeter EVA foam. This is basically what I'm going to be using as my inner sole. Now, you can decide to actually add your insole cardboard which is called um, fiber in nigeria here so you can also have it if you choose to but for me i'm actually going to be using just this it's actually mine so i can really do whatever i like with it <laughs> but on if normal circumstances if you are working with a customer it depends on how much they pay you if they pay you very well you can definitely have an insole cardboard and if you don't want to there is no crime in it it's actually very dense and it's not something that after some time it will be showing this shape no it's not it it's, it's not those category of eva foam for those of us who are in nigeria this is called mako so i don't know what it's called in your location in nigeria but generally they call it mako where i am i know in some places it's different so just find out whatever it is called where you are and go ahead and then place it and cut it out if you don't know how to do this i have so many videos on how to create an insole so go ahead and search on my youtube channel how to create an insole or let me know in the comment section and i'll lead you to one all right let's go ahead we're going to be using an hold gene material and i'm going to be using you know this part of this particular material so i'm going to take time to you know see which part will be much perfect don't forget i'm going to be wrapping it so i have to make sure that i'm picking a perfect part that will still be suitable for my wrapping process so i'm going to take my time to you know seam use my same repair to lose all of these then go ahead and use so you can see i've cut this out so the next thing is for us to apply our contact cement adhesive on heat so i'm going to take my time to do that now is some fabric you cannot do this because if you cannot um spread it um just um faintly you will find out that the other part will be filled with the gum can you see so you really have to be careful when you're applying your contact cement adhesive on a fabric you have to be very careful so that it doesn't soak it so i'm going to just leave it there allow it to dry before i go ahead and place this right on top of it now it's dry we're just going to go ahead place it press it very well so that it can stick to the surface of the eva foam which is also called marco and then we'll apply our counter cement adhesive all around it and then when it's dry we're going to go ahead and then fold all of the edges now i need you to know that for the past 13 months have been having weekend shoemaking class and then what I did now is combine all of the 13 months from November 2022 to November 2023. So now you can assess it and it's just 5,000 Naira on a monthly basis. Yes, it's going to be a subscription. Of course, you can subscribe for 5,000 monthly. Those who have subscribed, the first set of people who subscribe enjoyed it for three months. Yes, three good months. So you can also opt in now and enjoy the fullness of it. Go ahead and check the comment section for the link to see the details. All right, so these are all of the patchwork. Of course, I've taught on how to create the patch patchwork on the Emmys design. 
I'm going to be using this Mickey Mouse design as my patchwork. I cut all of them out. Of course, we have four pieces of this. And then we also have four of these as well. Now, this is the leather I'm going to be using, you know, for my design. You can see what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead, trim it out, and then begin to, I'm going to line it. Then begin to arrange it on, on, on of course, arrange all of our patchwork on top of it. And let's see how it finally looks like. Of course, I'm going to be showing us, of course, how I'm going to be lasting it. So, let's just go ahead. After trimming this, I'm going to line, like I said earlier, and then, of course, we're going to go ahead and position all of our patchwork. I need you to know that so let's um, go ahead all we do on this channel and then is make sure it easy and simple for you. To write sure numbers you subscribe. One. Please subscribe to my channel and then also like this video. Share so that I will know which, where to actually hotel. place. I tell you there are so much to them, learn so. on this That's channel. Ensure so you don't miss it for anything. Make sure you on the notification bell. To please on the notification bell so that you will not say, "Oh, madam, I saw part one. I can see part two. Of course, there are. This one has part one already. And if you are not, of course, um, you know, you didn't on your notification bell. You will not be aware each time I upload a video. So ensure that um, you always, um, you know, get yourself aware. So as you can see, of course, I've not positioned it. I'm going to go ahead and use my my gum to begin to arrange it so take your time to do that because for me this is the most appropriate way if you have any other way you would love to do it as long as it will hold it down there just go ahead and do that and as you are doing that be ready to stitch and be careful so that you don't have the gum all around the edge so i'm going to take my time to arrange it You can see that I didn't apply the gum on the, my main upper. It's deliberate. I don't want it on it, so I'm not applying it. So I'm going to do the same thing to these remaining ones, and we'll go ahead and stitch.